Right there. What's up, everybody? How the fuck are you? Hope all you motherfuckers are doing well. But yeah, welcome to the Jerk Channel. This is my Friday stream. I'm Captain Jerk. Uh, here's one of my suspender straps is riding a little low. Well, there we go. Somebody's making a bunch of hearts, but they haven't identified themselves yet. I wonder who that could be. They're making a bunch of hearts in the chat. If you don't know, because you don't stream or something. It's Gemma. Hi, Gemma. Mm. Love you, Gem. How you doing? Uh... That's uh, Gemma's Journey Grace. Where else at the round table? Oh, it's Lisa, too. Mm. Hi, Lisa. Working blue. Mm. How you doing, girl? <gasps> Mountain rain, let one love. How you doing, girl? Mwah. And Heather Feather. Mm. Love you, Heather. Oh. Look at all these lovely ladies come to visit me. Isn't that awesome? Sweet. Hell yeah. I'm glad you're good. I'm glad you're good, Rain. I'm glad you're good. Anyway, so, um, yeah, I've been thinking about a lot of things lately. And um, <laughs> love you too, Heather. Um, yeah, I got um, this stuff right here. If you see right there, that is... Two big one-gallon jugs of um, goop that they call silicone. Uh, I have had those for a few days now. Uh, uh, I've had those for a few days now. And um, I'm itching to use them. But I'm kind of like reworking this whole area on the table there. Well, that's just a kitchen table right there. Um, just got out of work a little bit ago and watched. Wanted to pop in and say hello before I have to start cooking dinner. Oh, hell yeah. Thanks for coming, Lisa. Hey, Mike. What's up? Ah, we can see any Mike. What's going on, buddy? I hope you're doing well, friend. But brother man. Oh yeah. But uh yeah, I've been uh I've been itching to get some of this stuff. And I finally got it. And now I'm itching to fucking use it. But I'm not gonna use it until I get all the stuff that I need. And I need resin which is coming in a few days, probably I thought it would be Monday, maybe Saturday if the mail's running fast, but it's, it's not. And it's not the mail, it's UPS, whatever. Um, hey, Mark Shark. On your way to work. Wow. <laughs> Getting a late second shift, huh? Where's that third? Yeah, I, th I think that's third, isn't it? Early third? Uh, I don't know. I'm glad you guys are all getting along in the chat. That that that's that's really awesome. That's really awesome. I really like when people are getting along in my chat. <laughs> That makes me very, very happy. Uh, sweet. But yeah, I'm um, I'm itching to use that stuff. Tuesday, everybody. Tuesday. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Rain. Glad to see you. Um, but Tuesday I should be I should be getting all I should be getting all this 
well, the other ingredient to uh, to do some casting. Five till two. Okay. That sounds third shifty to me. Ish. It's like an overlap. You're going to you're going to some type of home. Mike, does that mean you're officially an elderly man? Oh wait, no. That happened the moment you turned 60. Don't worry, I'm not that far behind you. I just turned 49. You ain't you ain't old enough to be my daddy. <laughs> Going to some type of home. Are you finding it difficult to take care of yourself there, Mike? I know you've had some uh, issues with the... Uh, you know, like uh, like strokes and stuff. So, I mean, I, I watched you stroke out on fucking panel before. I mean blew my mind. I'm like, how are you not dead? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You were saying something about that. Yeah. Well, I tell you what, some people party hardy and they never fall apart. And then some people never touch a drop and they never touch a fucking substance ever. And they never have a puff of a cigarette or a fucking joint or a cigar and nothing. And they fall apart in their 50s. It's crazy. Crazy. I've seen it happen right in front of me before. Just fucking, you know, there's some, some fucking people. I, I've... I've actually fucking seen them fucking smoking crack when they're in their fucking fifties. And that was like 20, 20 something years ago. And these motherfuckers are in their seventies now and they're still doing fucking manual labor. They're still smoking crack and cigarettes and drinking like a fish. I'm like, how the fuck do they do it? It's, it's like, um, let me kill Meister from uh, motorhead. The guy Lemmy there, the fucking guy had cancer of everything, and he did tons of drugs and drank all the liquor back in the day, and fucking eventually he died. I think he was seventy-one or two or something. But it took until his seventies for him to fucking just like succumb to it, you know. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I know they'll find you a place. They're, they're good at that, usually. They're usually good at that. Happy 420, even though it's not 420. It's, it's 322. Damn it. Well, unless you, unless you, you know, mark time and metric, I mean, it might be 420 somewhere. China. I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Scrapping Irish. Awesome. <laughs> yes. So, welcome, Scrapping Irish. Good to see you. Y yes, it's 420 somewhere. It's 420 twice a day. So, um, yeah. Uh, I just released a campaign on my uh, Teespring today. So, uh, look out for that. I mean, if you're into merch and that kind of shit, um, a lot of people used to be, or they are still, and they like they like stuff like koozies and uh, sweatshirts, t-shirts, blah, blah blah blah, shit like that. People, some people like that shit. Some people are not into it. 
I can't afford it uh, personally. <laughs> I really can't afford it. So. If I could, I would buy, a, I wouldn't care. I'd just buy people's merch, you know. Man. So I'm trying to find a video right here. So I can give you my link to my um, yeah. here it is I'm trying to find my teespring link so I can freaking give it to you in the chat here and it's not working quite as well as I wanted it to um, here love you Jim here Here's my link for my Teespring account. Okay. I just released a campaign today. Look for, uh, this is the, the name of the campaign. All right. That's the name of the campaign. Your pronouns. All right. And this is the... If you choose to buy anything for the next month on my Teespring account, there is a there's a sale going on right now, and the promo code is right there. That's the promo code, asshole. So anybody that wants to buy anything, well. I hope you do because we haven't seen you in years and we love you. So come over. Even if Jeff doesn't want to come over, he could still just drop you off and you can hang out if you want. <laughs> Yo, old car guy. How you doing? What is up? Oh, CG. Good to see you. It's good to see everybody, man. It's good to see everybody. No, I'm, I mean it, man. Freaking, like, I, I love I love doing this. I love hanging out on YouTube and freaking, you know, talking to people and talking about whatever, you know. It don't, it don't even fucking matter, dude, just to be social a little bit here and there. I'm such a fucking shut-in, you know. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what. You know who's incredible, Jim? You are. You are an incredible person for freaking, like, what you've been through and to be where you are and to be as successful on YouTube as you are, you are incredible. So thank you for everything that you do and freaking for going through it, you know, to be able to freaking, like, you know, say, to even be able to say that you've been through it, you know, it's, you know, it's impressive. Well, you know, Mike, eventually uh, a lot of people eventually come to something, some si similar situation like that, you know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I know you lost your nan and I, my, my, my heart still, st still with you. And uh, I still think about you and her and uh, how much she meant to you. So, um but Mike, I'll tell you this. A lot of people go through that. Where they where they live long enough, where they find that they they outlived all their friends. Like my grandmother. My grandmother's got like a handful of friends left, maybe. <laughs> like some people that, that, that were like like the people that she What a joy! How you doing? Bored old fart. Good to see you, buddy. Um Appreciate you coming over, brother, man. Um, but my grandmother's across the street neighbors are as old as she is. And they're still alive, you know, and they're still living at their house. My my grandmother moved out like, oh, 
2008. So yeah, a long time ago. Anyway, um, her next door neighbors uh, lived a long time too. So, um, but the rest of them are pretty much gone. Like all the people that she worked with, all the people that she knew in the neighborhood either moved away and died somewhere or just, you know, passed away either in their home or at the hospital. And she outlived them all. She's 92. She'll be 93. Um, but yeah, she's, she's the last one pretty much. She's got one sister left <laughs> who's older than her. So yeah, you know, the longevity runs in the family. Unfortunately, I don't think it's running, you know, family tree, you know, all the branches. Unfortunately, my branch is about to freaking, uh, you know, just blow in the wind a little bit too much and just. So I'm saying I'm not going to live as long as my grandmother does. No fucking way. There's not a chance. I am not going to live to be 90 something fucking years old. Not a not not even a fucking thought in my mind. No way. <laughs> and that's never gonna happen. <laughs> oh man. Hell yeah, hell yeah, Mike. I mean, you figure if I lived another forty four years old. You know, oh, wow. How's my feed? Is it harking and jerking? Because, yeah, mine's not doing too well here. I think it's partially because of these tabs I have open. I'm not quite sure. Don't be surprised if I have to restart or something because, uh, yeah, okay. It cleared up. I had too many tabs open, and uh, one was YouTube, so I could get the link. And, um, hey, Brian Royal Mechanic, how you doing? How's married life? Good to see you, buddy. Um, pardon. And I had a the Teespring link open, and that thing is just takes up so much room on my computer. I usually can't have that tab open with anything else. I have to just have Teespring open because it takes so much it takes up so much room on my computer. It's crazy. But anyway, glad to see you, Brian. Glad to see you. I don't see you often, but. Glad to see you today. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. I just uh, just turned 49 a couple weeks ago. That was weird. Our weather is cold as hell. A lot of the time we are below freezing we're hardly ever below zero ever but um we got nothing 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 a little bit of a little bit of snow here and there throughout the freaking the season and then um rain and rain and rain late lately um over the last couple of weeks rain and rain and rain no snow at all um but periodically we get rain and then it's just cold as hell. Like in the 30s, sometimes below freezing. But that's it. I mean, and that's how it's been most of the winter. I mean, sometimes we're like just just like a, a week a week ago, it was like 60. But this is New England, so you know. The temperature is just nuts. I mean, you lived in you lived in New York. You know, 
you got to know the, the weather in New York is similar to the weather in Connecticut. You got to know that it's just fucked. It's just nuts. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I know. You just got a shirt. Which shirt did you get? You don't have to tell me. I, I'm gonna see it. I'm gonna see which one you bought anyway. But or you might not have even got a shirt from me. Matt Kiwi, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Good to see you. Awesome. We've got a kiwi in here. Three days of snow here. Probably today was not sticking on sidewalks. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Hey, you're in Western New York. Okay, cool. That's probably a little colder than Connecticut, though. When the, are you near Buffalo? Or um, no, that's that's northern. That's 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 northern New York, I think. Buffalo. South of Buffalo. Okay. Recently lost my Nancy. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Oh, dang. Weather is still silly. But a lot less snow. Hey, man, you know, snow's not the worst thing, but I don't, it, it's not my thing. I, I don't dig snow. I was talking about my grandmother earlier, how all, she's, you know, she outlived everybody. <laughs> she outlived most of her family, except for one sister, and she outlived all her friends, all of them. Um, <laughs> but, uh, she was telling me that uh, that she hates it that uh, that there was no there was no winter. There's no snow. There's no winter. That that's 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 her. That's you know <laughs> to her. There's no snow. There's no winter. <laughs> Been sizing rings for hours or for five hours. Wow, that's crazy. That's a lot of rings. Usually, it only takes like. I mean, depending on what you're doing to size them, if you're, like, cutting and adding material or if you're just, like, put it in the stretcher or put it in the shrinker. <laughs> they they both have a stupid lever. I, I've got one of those right behind me. You see that thing? That's a ring sizer shrinker right there behind me on that. Um, those 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 two bars right there. And it weighs like 20 pounds. <laughs> it's crazy heavy. <laughs> 40 rings a day. Holy shit. Yikes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kiwi, I got to agree. Ice, ice sucks, dude. That That's no fun for anyone. Long time I long time ago I learned that you don't walk on the ice so much as you kind of you kind of your your feet kind of do this as you, as you're walking you know like like they go out a little bit <laughs> so you don't so you, you're kind of like purposely making yourself slip a little tiny bit with each step to to control your to, to control your freaking walk a lot better because if you don't, your the ice is gonna it's gonna own you and you're gonna eat the freaking pavement. <laughs> you know, oh. hang on, I'll be right back. Crystal just came in. Now, let's see what Crystal was out getting.
This is all I wanted. Right here. <laughs> Thank you, Barney. You okay? Yep. Just cold? Yep. This is all I wanted right here. I don't know if you've heard of these, but these are at the freaking uh, dollar store or family dollar, whatever. Not a sponsor, but uh, these are good. I like these because these are not the worst thing that you can put in your body. I promise you. And yes, some people are going to say, I prefer pork cracklings. Yeah. Well, I don't have those, so I'm eating these. Yes. Oh. I'm just saying hi, Crystal. Hi. Well, wait until you get over here. Come on, now. Don't just yell. <laughs> Hi, Crystal. Hi. Oh, yeah, Mike. Mountain Rain said hello. Hi. We were burning your candle earlier today, Mountain Rain. And it still smells wonderful. Um, sometime, I have to get more, can I have to buy more candles from you. Apparently, Nikki doesn't like pork rinds. These are barbecue flavor. And that's all they want. Oh, wow. That's okay. Cool. For Kay's, Zales, and Jared's. Yeah. <gasps> wow. Watermelon cotton candy. That's what Crystal got for a snack. Hold on for a second. So we felt snacky, and Crystal offered to go uh, get some snacks. I'll eat Doritos once in a while. I prefer Cheetos, the crunchy kind. Or Fritos, um, but this right here. Mm -hmm. I'll be in the chat in a second. Oh wow! Okay, okay, Gemma. Talk to me in email. You know, that's the best way to get a hold of me. But, um, yeah. Ah, not sorry. Okay, mountain rain. I see that. Hell yeah. Wow. I'm still looking at that. 40 rings every day. Okay. Thank you, Gemma. I appreciate you very much. Well, I, was, I knew I was going live and I wasn't going to be able to cook anything before I... You know, We had already eaten like just a couple of hours before I went live anyway. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mountain Rain. I mean, you're so freaking cool. <laughs> Rain grew up in the same era that I did. <laughs> Oh, 
Hell yeah, Rain. We love you. You're awesome. <laughs> Oh, yeah. It's hard to believe, but yes, she's actually similar age to me, even though she looks way younger than I do. Lucky. <laughs> oh, yeah, Gemma. Crystal just handed me a mini fruit pie. I haven't had anything like this in years. Yes, Mike, but it appeared that you were that day that you were like trying to eat the hot dog and it and it, you you're like I'm trying to eat this hot dog and it keeps falling out of my mouth. We thought you were stroking out on on panel. I'm just We can joke around with you about that, okay? <laughs> you kind of I don't know. I remember fruit pies being way bigger than this. Ah, oh, Bell's palsy. Pardon me. Pardon me. Hmm. 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 This is tasty. Oh, what's up, buddy? Good to see you. <laughs> yes, possibly, possibly, Mike, possibly. I don't know. I'm not a medical expert, so. I don't know. Hell yeah, Mountain Rain. One love. No problem. Start dinner. Go eat. I'm starving. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah. I bet we're all hungry right about now. Because, well... On the East Coast here, a lot of people have eating have eaten dinner already, or they're eating it now. And the rest of the country is either eating it now or will be soon. Huh. Uh-huh. No doubt, Mike. What's up, Hazy Dave? Hello, dude. That's okay. That's okay. Hey, man. Whatever's going on, sometimes dinner's late. And... Some parents know that it's probably a good idea to make sure that dinner is at least within a reasonable time or their children will eat the parents. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Jeff, it's probably time for you to eat breakfast anyway. The phone. What is it, like 9 o'clock there? Eat some breakfast. Early 11s. Why'd you say no? Is she going to poison you? I 
Yeah, hungry kids will stampede. I remember. I remember doing that. Okay, ten sixteen. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Got no appetite, huh? That sucks. Have you tried weed? Tried smoking some ganja? I, I don't know if you have problems with appetite. I don't know when people get into their elder elderly years, you know, but um, sometimes they have uh, appetite issues. If you're having problems with appetite, get high, smoke some weed. A lot of the time that solves it. Now that'll make you hungry. <laughs> And let me tell you something. For all those folks that are out in states where weed is still illegal, fuck them. Smoke it anyway. If you're having appetite issues or issues that weed can help you with, smoke the motherfucker anyway. Who cares? Weed was just legalized a little while ago in Connecticut. I lived here my, most of my life. I smoked weed for a long fucking time, and the whole time it was illegal. I've never smoked weed when it was legal. Never once. Now that it's legal, I'm just like, ah, I don't need it. <laughs> David Carlisle. Nah, Dave's not here, man. Fuck, Nikki, I made bongs out of everything, just like every pothead did. Not fucking around. Hmm. I even had a friend that took a bunch of quarters and he duct taped them together into a little pouch. He put a bung stem in there, put it on his mouth and and smoked a bong made out of money, like literally made out of spare change. Yeah. He was a crazy fuck, though. <laughs> Skipjack, Cindy's Outdoor Adventures. How you doing? Huh. <laughs> Yeah, smoke it anyway. Hell yeah, dead bat. Smoke it anyway. Smoke it motherfucker well anyway. Fuck it. I don't know if it'll ever be decriminalized on a national level or legalized on a national level. I don't know. Um, What do they piss you piss test you every week there, Gaff? Come on, man. Give me a break. <laughs> I'll tell you what. It would have been nice if they had legalized it when I was younger. Like long ago. Um, are you cooking the burritos? Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm going back through the, the, the comments to make sure I didn't oh. miss anything important. Okay. But it's good to see everybody. It's good to have everybody here. If I missed you, uh, make it make yourself uh, you know make yourself known. Hi, how are you going?
Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, Uncle Surf. How you doing? Good to see you, Surf. Oh, yeah, buddy. Mm. Crunchy ones. See, uh, people that eat pork rinds don't know what I'm talking about when I say Got to look out for tooth breakers. Chomper chippers. Freaking random freaking pork rind in the bag. You're just nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom. Oh, oh sucker. Ah. Oh, yeah. Well, it's good to have you with us, Uncle Surf. Hey, um, I tell you, it would be, would have been really nice back in the day if they had decriminalized weed when I was younger. Oh yeah, it's great to see you, Uncle Surf. Oh yeah, buddy. Um. Uh, when I was locked up in the clink there, I chanced to meet a gentleman who had been busted for cultivation. Hey, Stunflowers, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. And, um, It wasn't just a little bit of cultivation. Um, it was a lot of cultivation, like um, like a crazy, dastardly amount of cultivation. <laughs> well, I believe he was. Um, In his uh, late 50s, I think he was actually in his early 60s. Let's just, just go with that. That guy would be in his mid-80s now if he was around still. Okay. <laughs> but uh, nah, he, he knew that he knew the jig was up. Just a, one of the other inmates when I was uh, when I was locked up in the clink. But um, over a decent period of time, months that he was there, he um, he was mild mannered, kept to himself mostly. Mellow, even without the weed. But uh, they try to in court. They tried to make him out to be a gangster because he was selling it, growing it and selling it. But he wasn't no fucking thug. He had <laughs> he had guns and shit, sure. That's because he was a marijuana cultivator. <laughs> so yes, of course. He had like Shotguns and rifles and shit. But, like I said, 
Você vai não, tá? But they try to paint that guy as a criminal. And it's like, why? That guy's a fucking farmer. <laughs> yeah, he's growing an illegal plant. What the fuck are you talking about, illegal plant? Plants shouldn't be legal or illegal. They should, you know, free will. That kind of thing. You know, I understand, you know, free will go like even goes over onto like drug use and yeah, yeah, I know. I'm aware. I'm aware, Rain. I'm aware. <laughs> Got tagged with rock salt when I was a kid. Ladies and gentlemen, Boo Luquette has just entered the chat. What's up, Cajun Coin Hunter? Bonjour, mon ami. Good to see you. Hell yeah, man. Good to see you. Awesome. I know I poked into your uh, into your stream last night with a woohoo. <laughs> I don't stick around. I don't stick around people's uh, streams much anymore. Nothing personal against you. I just uh, kind of don't want to spend all my time in one spot. I kind of. Jump around from stream to stream to stream to stream and see what's going on. There's Crystal. Hi, Crystal. Hi. How you doing? Hi. You hear that? She's she's good. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, see see what Rain is uh, saying there in the chat there? She's saying my, my merch is fire. But guess what? She's right. I got a, I got a shitload of, load of designs and stuff like that. And if you act now... Or within a month, here's my Teespring link. Or if you don't want to buy my merch, you could also help me out monetarily by buying me a coffee. There's a there's a link in the description here to buy me a coffee. Now, ain't nobody bought me a coffee yet. <laughs> but it's five bucks a coffee. You can buy as many as you want. Or none. It's fine. I'm not trying to push anybody into it, but if somebody wants to support me a little bit, you know, freaking watch me eat snacks on here. Because <laughs> that's a once in a while thing. I don't, I don't get those snacks a lot, but uh... yes, I have a PayPal. I have a, a cash app and, you know, I, yeah, I, I got many different ways that people could freaking like throw me, throw me a buck or two here and there. Yeah, I bet you did. I bet you did, Cajun Coley, Hana. I bet you did. <laughs> I had two coffees today. I took I took a couple of sips of the second one, and I almost fell asleep, and I almost missed my opportunity to stream tonight. <laughs> I was even ten minutes late. But uh, I'm sitting there playing car, playing online solitaire, and I'm like, "Oh, it's seven ten. I gotta go live." <laughs> Thank you, Sunflowers. And if you want a discount at my Teespring merch store, type in the word asshole. 
to get a discount. <laughs> That's your discount code is asshole. <laughs> I don't know. There's a. Um, it says there in the description that there's another discount code uh, that's uh, silver. I don't think that one works. So try asshole. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, sunflowers. You're a sweet girl. That's for sure. Ooh, that sounds nice, Dave. Very, very American meal right there. Uh, pork chops and gravy, red beans and rice. Yep, that'll work. I'll eat that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you better believe it. Hell yeah, Cajun. Hell yeah. Thanks, Pooh. You're a great, you're a great brother, man. For sure. You're good people. I say that all the time. Don't I? Yeah. <laughs> nah, but um, yeah, Captain Jerk's uh, Captain Jerk's gonna have a burrito, I guess, because uh, Chris is making burritos. Get ready for the summer, huh? Boats are ready. Toys all work, huh? Big trees been felled around the house. Burn piles. Yeah. A cougar? What's her name? Cannonball Repair. How you doing? Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Ah, <laughs> come on, Mike. No, no, I, I, I know what you meant, Dave. I know what you meant. <laughs> Uncle Bree, Uncle Bry's Corner, how you doing? Budget bushcraft. That's no, good to see you, buddy. How you been? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Oh, man, it's so good to see everybody, though. I'm not even kidding you. I, I freaking love it all. I love all you guys. You guys are all freaking awesome. You, you know, it's not just something I say at the freaking end of my freaking streams. You're all freaking awesome in your own way. You, you got such freaking, you know, like, individual personalities instead of you know just being a, a freaking cookie cutter or what they call a npc you know this is a non-playable character you know an npc nobody here is like that no none of you you all have awesome personalities and i fucking love that oh yeah you know an uncle surf you know it. But that's part of evolution. The fast survive. <laughs> well, they should say the faster. <laughs> what do you think it where do you think we get the freaking name uh scapegoat from? You know those fainting goats? Yeah, that's a characteristic that was bred in that that was uh like not bred into the goats. That was a characteristic that the goats had so that, you know, if there was no weak or elderly or young ones or young enough to, to fall prey to the wolves and the freaking predators that, uh, you know, when they're scared enough, a bunch of them will just and they'll just freeze up and just like fall over. And then the freaking predators would come and get them instead of the. The ones that were faster and run away. Now, I don't know if that's really an evolution thing, but it's logical. It makes sense, but it might be bullshit. I don't know. 
seems kind of whimsical almost, you know, like, uh, did, did, did nature really program those goats like that? Yeah. I hear beeping. You miss community lives, huh? It was important in my life. Changed the channel a bit. Bring them back. Well, you know, you know. Um, I remember a lot of people doing firesides uh, years ago. And that kind of that kind of disappeared, you know. I know one person that still does that, don't I? Mountain rain. <laughs> and that's because she has a nice fire pit. That wasn't me making a sexual innuendo. That was like the, there's a hole in the ground, you know, that they burn wood in where, where she lives. Yeah. <laughs> World Autism Acceptance Week. Well, yeah. Every week should be Autism Acceptance Week. Why should we have to freaking have a week to freaking draw attention to it? It should be something that people are paying attention to anyway. I'm not saying giving special privilege and, you know, special treatment to necessarily. No. I'm saying be aware of what's going on out there with autistic people. How about that? I understand that a lot of people in society do not accept, accept that kind of thing. And that's unfortunate, but pomposity and arrogance and conceit, no, no bounds. And it's not just rich people that do that kind of shit or royalty or like, you know, wealthy business people or whatever. No, people uh, from every walk of life could be very snooty and aloof and dismissive. And just, Get away from me, you nasty cur. You know, oh, <laughs> excuse the fuck out of me. And yes, believe it or not, I might not have any kind of uh, freaking autism or retardation or, you know, Down syndrome or, or anything like that, but I've been treated like that. Yes, I have. Yes, I most certainly have been treated that uh, the way that somebody similarly afflicted would be treated, you know by assholes <laughs> yes 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 it is um i don't really believe in uh that type of division i believe that uh and i know that it's not just one ethnicity or race of people that could be beholden of any of those characteristics i know that everybody every every freaking ethnicity every walk of life you know could have one of those freaking characteristics <laughs> well it's all about you know the yankee tribute made me realize that we had that once and it's so much better than all this political crap out there. Yeah, I don't I don't do the pol political thing, you know. Once in a while I'll say something and you know some people will agree with me and some people won't and you know I don't really care. But um yeah if people don't freaking share my political view then I'm just like me but uh yeah community like when we're when when people are doing things like um youtube and 
you know, streams or even videos or whatever, it's so much better to talk about community and like, you know, interact with people, you know, on a community and friendship basis rather than a political basis. You, you are correct. I, 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 well, at least I agree with you. I think it's way better to have something like this where we're just chill and mellow rather than freaking, you know, uh, well, burr, 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 burr about, you know, so no, I don't bother anymore. No. See, Jimmy C and friends. Can't we all just get a bong? I mean, get along. Yeah, Jimmy. Uh-huh. Come on, man. <laughs> Good to see you, Jim. Oh, sunflowers, you know the deal. Man, I've... I've had so many different freaking groups of people that I've freaking hung out with on, on YouTube so many different times, you know, over the years. And, um, I, I gotta let you know, um, I love all of, all of those people, you know, I love all, I love all the people that I've hung out with. They're great. Well, most of them. <laughs> so, also, well, I have ones that are life size, Uncle Surf. I have ones that are, you know, this like similar size to my more than generous uh, dome piece. <laughs> I also have ones that are um, a moment. Yes. I'll show you what I got. All right. This is most of what I got right now. All right. You want skulls? Well, I got ones that are the size of my head, close to the size of my head. It's kind of have it's it's not unheard of to have a head bigger than mine. My head's pretty fucking big. But I must say so myself. Uh, but here we go. Here is a skull that this is not painted. And this is not 3D printed. I mixed the chemicals for this and poured it into a mold and took it out of the mold. Okay. This bright blue skull <laughs> is very, very nice. It does not glow in the dark though. Okay. This one does not. I can make these glow in the dark. Yes, I can. Check this out. This is about the size of a grapefruit. Okay. I don't have really big hands, as you can see. Like, look where my hand. I don't have a really huge hand. I, I, I kind of have a normal, like, almost a girly size hand. <laughs> now, there's lots of girls out there that have smaller hands than me, but, uh, I have a normal sized hand, I would say. Um, this one's uh, quite a bit smaller, but it's still pretty nice. As you can see, it's about half the size of this one. Okay. This is more like a shifter knob, like a hot rod shifter knob size. Okay. I make these two. Well, I'm making a mold for that one, by the way. I don't have one yet, but uh, this is the this is the classic that I've been making for a long time. 
And that one is quite a bit smaller than this one. This one's like half the size of this one. So if you look, you see. This one is about half the size, like a, a third, maybe a quarter of the size of a regular human skull. This one is about half the size of this one. And this one is about half the size of this one here. All right. So whichever one you'd like. Let me know. Because these are not inventory. These are demonstration models. This is what I have to show others that what is possible for me to make for them. These are mine. These are j just the floor model. Now, I will make whatever somebody orders, you know, and that, that's, that's fine. I don't care. But grab a ruler cap. Don't worry about the caps, dude. People can freaking use all cap letters if they want. And I'm just going to be like, oh, wow, that's easy to read. Just like Jimmy says, use caps. <laughs> use caps lock. I don't care. It's easier, it's easier to read. <laughs> Thank you, sunflowers. But anyway, I also have... This fella here, this is a crow or raven, usually call it a raven skull. Now, this would be a big ass raven. <laughs> There's all kinds of like markings and sigils and engravings all over it. So that really, really super cool along the, the beak here and here as well. I had to glue this one back together. That's why this is the floor model. <laughs> this one's broken. But uh, the rest of it's intact. See more engravings there and there. Even on the back. There's some there. Very, very highly detailed. Really, really freaking cool. And I engrave my initials in there with a razor blade. That's my symbol right there. So anyway, that's what I have. And like I said, I got that really super huge one too. So Mondiga! what's up, buddy? How you doing? Old gray eyes just ain't what they used to be. Ain't what they used to be. Ain't what they used to be. Now I got I got better than 2020, but then again, you know, I think you got a few years on me, uh, Uncle Surf. I'm for, I just turned 49 a couple of weeks ago, so I think you're like what, 52, 53. You 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 like Jimmy's age, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah go ahead and drop your links everybody yeah a few yeah, listen to them a few <laughs> ah, 66 that's not bad that's not... um wicked insanity mike is 65 so you know we got we got representatives from multiple you know, generations here. It's a multi-generational stream. <laughs> We've got millennials, Generation X, and boomers. <laughs> fuck's sake. Oh, fuck. Please don't kill me. <laughs> I'm just playing. But, um, yes, there's three. There's these three here. That I oh four these these four that I showed you, and I'm going to show you one more, which is not a skull, not a skull. 
I still make all these. Um, I have the mold to make this one already. I already have this mold. I don't need to make this mold. Boop, 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 boop. But I, and I already have this mold. But these, uh, these two smaller ones, these two uh, white ones, I, I need to uh, make molds for those. I already, I made this one. But that other one, that's the, that's the model. I, I need to make that mold. So, yeah, 41. Yeah, I see you. Yeah. Crystal. Crystal is turning how much, Crystal? 41. She's turning 41 in a couple of months. So if you want to send Crystal a card, she likes butterflies and rainbows and fairies, pixies and stuff. Or if you want to, you know, freaking buy her a little freaking, you know, little plastic freaking fairy or something, you know, you can freaking send her one of those. I don't care. Or un unicorns, dragonflies. She likes dragonflies too. So, hey, Lucky Seven Mud Mowers. What's up, buddy? Good to see you. I ain't seen you in a bit. Great to have you, dude. Well, you know, <laughs> you drive how you drive, buddy. If you want to freaking change it, my birthday was the 5th. It's a couple weeks ago. Hey, you know what? Um, I'm going to show you this other thing that I have to show you, Uncle Surf. Um, this is one of my gargoyles that I make. This is made with resin. And I'll show you. They, uh, they catch the light very well, as you can see. Oh, yeah. Very, very well. And I didn't show you this because, yeah, I, I stopped showing people this with the light, but this doesn't go through the beep, beep, beep. But uh, this doesn't go through the whole piece, but it does, um, does go through a little bit because uh, there's a lot of... Uh, like a, the color that I use is called pigment. There's a lot of pigment in this one. Uh, I, I wanted to make sure that this was like completely solid one color. And that's why the, the light doesn't go through this one very much. So there's some where the light will go through very well. And then there's some that where the light will go through kind of well. And then there's ones like this where the light does not go through hardly at all. I can actually make this material impermeable to light. But yeah, it does go through a tiny bit, but this is a different material. This is urethane and this is epoxy. They're both types of resin. This stuff is way more durable. This is the stuff that pool balls are made out of. So... <laughs> Just, just to let you know, <laughs> that's what pool balls are made out of. That stuff, urethane. So, this stuff's Tonka tough. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to have to go to the bathroom or I'm going to end up, you know, being very sad because, yeah. Pardon me. Give me a few minutes. I'll be, I, I'll, I will be back. I promise.
What? Somebody call? No. Somebody text? Um, just say that. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, oh my. I guess a uh, uh, happy belated birthday to me, I guess. Oh, my. Um, wasn't that nice? You did? That just kind of blew my mind. A lot. <laughs> oh, well, thank you very much. Um, yeah. Wow. Um, yeah. A little hot in here. Uh. <laughs> anyway, thank you. Thank you very much for the uh, very nice birthday gift there. Wow, that was really, really cool. Um, yeah. Um, I'm still having issues processing words. <laughs> Holy crap. Burritos. Yes, Crystal does burrito things. Yes, Lucky Seven. Everything came out just fine. Yes. Oh, my goodness. But, yes, uh, Wicked Insanity Mike. Pigment is key um you can't use too much um not really i mean the only thing that will happen is that the color will be very much what it is you know and it'll be harder to see through the item like like this otherwise um there is some examples of my stuff where you could see all the light or most of it come through like this, even though this looks like, like it's pretty dark. This is actually, you know, quite, um, the light is very like, th this is a very, uh, photo permeable. Material. I'm going to go right through. And there's even other examples that I've shown people over the years where you get close to it, the, the, the light's not even, like, you know, on it. But then, you know, you, you get, like, and it, this doesn't do it. But even when the light gets close to it sometimes, it'll start uh, lighting up the whole freaking item almost. It's really kind of cool. That effect is lost here at the moment because... I'm not sure why. Oh my God. That's a really, really freaking cool ass gift. I'm going to have to make sure that I, um, you know, send you a thank you card. Make sure I have your, uh, your address there. My nose is itchy. But anyway. Cheeseburger cat. That's actually a kind of a cool name. Are you a cat that eats cheeseburgers? Is that, is that, what your, is that your gimmick? 
Is that your YouTube thing? You're you're a kitty cat that nom 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 cheeseburger. It's not another crystal profile. Although. No, it's not. I wouldn't put it past Crystal to make it <laughs> make a profile with that name, though. <laughs> well, welcome to the stream. It's great to have you with us. <laughs> Hi. I wouldn't put it past myself. <laughs> well, yeah, that's what I'm saying, you know. Anyway. This has been a freaking pretty good stream. We've had some pretty freaking, you know, uplifting stuff. And we've had some pretty freaking funny stuff, you know. It hasn't, hasn't been very depressing. Talked about, you know, some, some people that have passed and stuff like that. And that's fine. You know, people that are very old. And that's fine, too. You know? So, but, uh, no, 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 no tears yet. Nah. <laughs> no weeping. That's, that's good, right? <laughs> No, but, um, boy, if Captain Jerk ever wins the lottery, maybe he should go out and get some uh, hair implants. Eh? Eh? Nay? <laughs> well, anyway. Oh, my goodness. It's, the food smells crazy good. I'm still hungry, too. So, everybody, tell me what the weather is like where you are right now because the weather here is kind of cold and rainy and freaking. Was it wet out there today? No. But no? I saw some flurries. Oh, jeepers. She saw some flurries. We, we got like a little, a couple of little flakes. Uh, what was it last night, the night before? But but it but it's not anything that I would consider to really be snow as I live in New England and I'm kind of a if I don't see two inches on the ground <clears throat> they're not gonna cancel school. It might be delayed. They might delay it at like a half hour, but no, otherwise no. <laughs> Sometimes like up to four inches. And they absolutely will not cancel school. They'll be like, no, send those kids to school. We don't care if they're falling down like penguins. You know what I'm talking about, Crystal. <laughs> it's cold here. About to get some snow. Awesome. Well, what are you going to do with the snow? Are you actually going to go out there and make snow angels? Or are you you're going to you're going to freaking uh, you know, roll it into snowmen or snow people? Or are you going to freaking uh, break the icicles off the freaking uh, break the icicles off the freaking uh, the gutters and do some icicle fights, you know, icicle fencing. Sweet. Go eat. Come, uh, come back in a little bit. I'll probably still be here. I'm just going to freaking <laughs> my way through this because, you know, people are still here. People are still hanging out and shit. It's good. Whatever. Oh my goodness. Let's see. Hello. How you doing? Oh my. Fantastic. Great to have you with us. My my name is Captain Jerk. I'm the ghost with the most, babe. No, I'm not Beetlejuice. 
but yeah, I am. Uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm kind of just uh, sitting here waiting for another topic of discussion. You know, so uh, you're 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 uh, you you just came in. Why don't you give us a topic of discussion? <sighs> Let's talk about what you want to talk about for a minute for a minute and see if it works. And uh, if not, then we'll talk about something else. Oh, dang. <laughs> you don't have to be sorry. But I'll tell you what. I do have something to talk about. I'm going to start talking about the, the goop on the table again. If <laughs> there's Heather Feather. Hi, Heather. If anybody wants to freaking um, order something from me, please feel free. I will be having. Um, resin come in in a few days and um i can make tons and tons of stuff so anybody wants something well, let me know what you want and i'll make it we'll work out a payment arrangement because i i don't have a site yet i just don't um i don't know what it would cost for me to get a website on which i can sell my things you know but um I don't know how well that would work. This is kind of custom work, you know, people, you know, it, it's not like a, it's not like, ve like a mm, website vending friendly, you know, Usually I go through my, e I, I have, I encourage people to freaking use my email to contact me so that, you know, I can make something for them. No whether you want something like this, or if you want something like this, or possibly something like this. And remember, kids, I didn't do it. No, I do not. I absolutely do not 3D print anything. Hey, Heather Feather. <laughs> she called you sissy poop. <laughs> I know. I think I need three more things. I need a knife and fork and some, some goop. I need the cheese goop. Oh, we don't have cheese, do we? No. Man. All right. Blue cheese it is. <sighs> Blue cheese, then. Damn it. I know a lot of people don't, don't like blue cheese or blue cheese dressing, and I don't care. Because I've loved it my whole life. The first time I ever tasted it, I was like, and right then, I knew I loved it. Yes, yes, it farted. Yes. Heather and her sister think that farts are absolutely hilarious. They're not wrong. Depends on the context. Are you farting for your faith? 
<laughs> Are you farting for your health? <laughs> Let's see. What might your what might be your reasoning for the farting? Yes, yes, Heather, I'm aware. Because she's a flatulent bitch, that's for sure. I'm not saying that's even a bad thing, but I do tell Crystal to um, stop farting at me and to get away frequently. Either that or I go and get the fan and I plug it in and I blow and I freaking point it at her. Be like, keep your fart to yourself. I haven't done that in a long time though. But I has. Oh, hot. Hmm. And again, it did just come out of a 400 and something degree oven. Oh, wait, is that 375? 375. I like lots of different kinds of music. Mostly metal, heavy metal, death metal, rock and roll, punk rock, classical music, some classical, some jazz is okay. Old school country, like uh, Def Leppard's all right. Yeah. Not my favorite, but I enjoy Def Leppard sometimes. Sure, why not? But Def Leppard is Heather's favorite. That's for sure. Everybody wants a piece of the action. Mm hmm. Yes, Heather, I'm aware. Mike, I thought you lived in that basement. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding, buddy. So what the, what kind of music does everybody like here then? Personally, I sit there and listen to Iron Maiden all day. I don't care. Or uh, the Misfits. Or Slayer. Cannibal Corpse. Or Credence Clearwater Revival. Hmm. Yeah, a little ICP here and there too. So let me see who Alan Walker is. I don't know who that is.
I don't believe I know who that is. Looks like he is a very young man. Yeah, he's uh, born in England here. It says he's uh, born in 1997. That's quite a young guy. Oh, that's the song you like by that guy? Okay. I give most music a shot before I turn my nose up at it, you know. I don't really like to turn my nose up at anything, you know, I just, I should say before I just disregard it, um, I have a certain kind of old, <laughs> kind of set in my ways a little bit. I, I am open to new stuff. So if I like it, I'll listen to it. And that, that I, you know, ain't no shame in my game, but no, I'm usually, uh, Usually into music that has um, a band, you know, like guitars, bass, drums. Possibly trumpets, saxophone. Flutes. Heather. Why did you retract all your messages? Heather, what happened? Do you know what happened to Sissy? No. Hmm. Weird. All of a sudden, all of Heather's comments just disappeared. All at the same time. That's weird. Usually that doesn't happen unless somebody, like... Gets rid of their account. <laughs> That's odd. Heather, are you okay? Pardon me, everybody, but I'm very hungry. <laughs> That's why I'm chowing down. In my world, food happens. <laughs> It might be YouTube. YouTube might have come along and just gave her a big old whammy and penalized her for some reason. 
I don't know. I know Dave, right? What the hell? <laughs> no, I'm trying to I'm trying to finish my dinner here. All I'm having is a burrito. No, I had those pork pork rinds too. So, but otherwise, no. Well, all I'm having is a stupid burrito. I'll probably have I'll probably have a snack later. Like a couple of carrots or something. That's what I would rather have for a snack, honestly. Uh, pardon. Mm. So what do you guys like to have for a snack? Popcorn? Jacks? Um, pretzels? These little toothpicks are awesome. Like this. And have it on your keychain or just have it hanging around on your desk or whatever like I do. And then you go like this. And if you ever need a toothpick... You got a toothpick, and you freaking screwed it. You could just use it as this, like that. Or you could freaking uh, screw it into the handle. Have a little leverage. You know, pick your teeth with this thing. Be careful, because these are made out of titanium. Well, mine is. Yep, chips are good. What kind of chips? You like regular potato chips or kettle chips, those real, real super, super crunchy ones? What what flavor do you like on it? Or do you just like plain? You like uh, Doritos? I try to steer away from chips now. Um, I do eat Fritos sometimes, but those are like the worst ones because there's so much oil and so much salt. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, but I um I don't know what happened to Heather Feather. Or did you have you contacted her on any other platform? Um I sent her a message, but yeah, I don't know. Well, let us figure out yeah. what happened to Heather Feather. There she is. A moment. Doritos, there you go. I like the original. And I like the, uh, the the cool ranch ones are all right sometimes you know I gotta be in the mood for them but um, I like the uh, the spicy ones from time to time but like I said I, I try to steer away from chippy type things I love them don't get me wrong but I kind of trying to do something different you know. Well, I just sent Heather Feather a message. Let's see if she responds. Maybe her phone went out. Huh, weird. Hmm. Yes, but uh, we go to this site to... Uh, To look at um, all different kinds of uh, military 
everyday carry type stuff. And uh, this is one of those things that I found. And this is nice. I've had this for uh, about a year, and it's really awesome. Yeah, no problem, Lisa. I mean, do do what you need to do, girl. <laughs> do what you need to do. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anton Martinez, how you doing? Great to have you with us. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I think we're winding down a little bit now. Going to be on here for another, like, 10 minutes or so. So, uh, everybody drop your drop a link in the freaking chat if you'd like to uh, advertise your channel or your latest video or whatever. Cashews, plain chips, cheese doodles, cheeseburgers. Coconut popsicles, anything goes. Coconut popsicles. Hey, I haven't one of the hat. I, I I haven't had anything like that in a long time. Then again, I haven't had popsicles in a long time. Um, those freeze pops. Sometimes those are coconut flavored. <laughs> Hell yeah! Good to see you, Buzz. Hey, Buzz, how you set for skulls, buddy? Now you set for skulls. You, you you good? You need any more? Because uh, you know, we can talk pricing, and uh, I I got tons of different ones. All right, I got ones that are that size. I got ones that are this size. Hey, nice and big. Nice big gear shifter. Or you could have a more, you know. This is a little smaller than an eight ball. And this one's about, this one's a little bigger than an eight ball. And he's better looking. <laughs> no, that's not how yours will look when it comes to you. Yours will look however you want it to look when I make it. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Cash App's good stuff. Good stuff. It's uh, really easy to use. I haven't used it yet, but I've seen a lot of other people use it, and I know. It's real, real super <gasps> easy to use. <laughs> Pardon. A little hiccup. Oh, my. Yeah, winding down. Ten minutes left, so please. Drop your links in the chat if you would. Makes me happy. It helps you out. Advertising whatever you need. Uh-huh. Anything you want. I even make uh, I even make gargoyles. They're ugly as hell, <laughs> but they're so cute. Now this one is uh, teal. I can make them in any color, including gray. Oh, later. Have a good night, there, Buzz. We'll see you. <laughs> Uh, Buzz is good people. If you like, uh, if you like, um, like radios and stuff. You like, you know, squawk box radio type things. He's your guy. He's got antennas all over his house, all over his yard, and everything. It's crazy. Yeah, I'll check it out. I'll, I'll check it out later. I'm not gonna freaking play any music on my stream. That that's 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 not how I roll. Just saying. If you want to check out some of my favorite music, look up a band called And I suggest that you uh, look for a song called um
Or there's another one called Yep. Those are two really good songs. Aces High is by a band called Iron Maiden and it's from an album called uh Power Slave. And um the Trooper is also an Iron Maiden song. And that is from an album called Peace of Mind. And no, I didn't misspell peace. That's the way they spell it on the album cover. Uh... Peace of Mind is an album that was released in 1984. I don't even remember. I don't even remember when that was released. I used to know the, the release date of all these albums. Hmm. Well, I looked up uh, Peace of Mind release, and uh, I guess I have to put in specifically Iron Maiden. <laughs> 84? No, nope, 83. I was close. I, I was going to say 83, but uh, I kind of ruined my own confidence just even thinking about it, you know. Oh, well. That's fine. I believe, um, uh, I believe Power Slave was, eighty five or eighty six. No, oh, 84. I was wrong about that one, too. God damn it. Maybe I should stop making guesses and presumptions and just, like, look it the hell up. <laughs> uh, Power Slave and the Peace of Mind are pretty much the, you know, the two quintessential albums of the time period. A lot of people are, you know, they, they say, well, you're probably a first four kind of guy or a first five, you know, like the first four or five albums of a band, you know, people generalize and say, oh, you're only like the first five because you're a purist or whatever. And it's like, well, no, that's not true. I, I like one of the more unpopular albums from that band. So. <laughs> I believe it was album number seven. But yeah, this is all very scintillating. Got about three minutes. So drop your links, drop your links, drop your links. Let's go. Drop your, drop, drop, drop your links in the chat, please. Links to your freaking GoFundMe, your Kickstarter, your freaking PayPal, your Cash App, your. Uh, buy me a coffee, your latest video, your channel, your merch, whatever, whatever link you have, please drop it in the chat right now. Okay. Thank you for stopping in. It's a pleasure having you with us. Maybe next time you tell us how you like Iron Maiden. <laughs> Have a good night, man. Anyway. Bye, Dave. 
even though you're not here. Yeah, so I would like to encourage everybody to freaking help control the pet population by having your pet spayed or neutered and always tip your stripper because they treat you right. They take care of you and you'll be back the next night. That's it. Bye, Anton Martinez. See you, buddy. I would like to thank everybody for participating in tonight's freaking, uh, pretty freaking cool, but rather mellow stream. I appreciate every one of you. And I want to see you all on possibly Wednesday of next week. Don't count on it because that's a mm, slim to none day. But uh, I do want to demonstrate some of this, uh, this goop over here on the table. And how it works, you know, how you use it, and how it functions, and, you know, whatever. But um, we're probably going to end up doing that on next Friday. So about a week from now, we'll say, you know. Anyway, all that aside, be excellent to each other. Party on, dude. Thank you, and you know who you are for freaking sending me that awesome freaking birthday gift. I really do appreciate you. Love you to pieces. You are awesome. That's really, really freaking cool. And might I say, you're pretty easy on the eyes. <laughs> anyway, thank you everybody for everything. I love you. You're all freaking great in your own way. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out. And drink out. Drink off.